Thank you, Steph. We're learning new details about a deadly fire in Hopkinton that was first breaking on Eyewitness News this morning. And as we first reported at noon, investigators located a body inside this charred home on Skunk Hill Road. New tonight, we're hearing from a longtime neighbor who tells us she's in disbelief over the tragedy. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh joins us now live from Hopkinton with a new detail she's uncovered. Well, you can tell how fierce the flames were by what remains of this home. It's a charred black home now. It used to be a red log cabin, and right now we're watching as crews put up plywood over the windows and doors. Also new tonight, we know the victim who died was a man. In just minutes, flames burned this home beyond repair, destroying lives forever. When Hope Valley firefighters got here shortly after the call came in around 5.30 this morning, they had a haunting realization as they put out the flames. We had two cars in the driveway, so we were concerned that there might be, might be a resident inside. Hours later, it was confirmed the body of a man found on the first floor. Former neighbor Deborah Washburn stopped outside in disbelief. I just want to cry. I, I just can't believe it. It's, it's terrible. Officials haven't released the man's name yet, but Washburn spoke of the man she knew to be the longtime homeowner here. If I had trouble with my boiler or anything, he would come and help me all the time. He was just so nice. He, to me, he was very good. No closure for the man's loved ones. The state fire marshal's chief investigator said the building official won't let them inside to figure out an exact cause due to the extent of the damage. It's not enough for us to come to uh, a determination of a fire. And that's why one of the classifications of a fire is undetermined. All they can use is firefighter and witness accounts from the moments after the fire started. And new at six tonight, find out how this home's location made it even more difficult for firefighters. Live in Hopkinson tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Firefighters say they may never be able to determine exactly what caused a deadly house fire here in Hopkinton this morning. New at 6, firefighters share the extra obstacles they faced in battling this fire. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh joins us now live from Hopkinton with the South County Mobile Newsroom. Well, it's an eerie scene here tonight on Skunk Hill Road. It's difficult even to see the house. It's black and charred and plywood now covers the windows and doors. The firefighters are all gone, saying that the official cause of the fire is undetermined. This black charred frame of a house, all that's left of a quick moving fire that started just after 530 Friday morning. A man inside, unable to get out alive. Hope Valley firefighters, mostly volunteers, worked for hours to put out the flames. Their job made more challenging by this home's distance, miles away from a water source. We started tanker shuttle, um, so our nearest hydrants are on Main Street, and we had uh, about five departments come in and with, uh, with tankers. A former neighbor recalls that being a challenge when she had a fire in her yard years ago. It was spreading like crazy. But and it seemed like it took forever for the fire department. She remembered the longtime resident of this home helping her that day. They were friendly for over 20 years. If he was out when I drove by, I'd always stop and we'd talk. Officials haven't released the name of the victim, but did say the home is so damaged they won't be able to investigate an official cause of the fire. We don't believe the fire was set at all. We believe it was on the accidental side. Throughout the day today, several neighbors came over to us talking about how this man had a dog. We asked the fire chief about that. He couldn't comment. Live in Hopkinton tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.